what I missed were one and the same. Draft Ronin here for episode 3 of Sheer and the Wanderer. Uh, last time we fainted, and this time we're going to go over some more advanced dungeon mechanics. Let's see, first of all, we don't have any items, but that's fine because we can always, always, always go over to this here bar, get a free big rice ball, and that is a good start. Now, let's see, do we have anything stored in our warehouse? from last time. Uh, yes, we have a scroll of light and a rice ball. Uh, let's get this scroll of light and we'll leave that rice ball. Save the warehouse data. And we'll just run over to here. Go. Alright, back to Old Cedar Road. Now, it's good and important to sometimes even just talk to regular NPCs for hints the chintula they give five exp and at the beginning of the game when you only have at level one it takes 10 xp to level up to level two it's very good mammals of course are very weak but they only give off two xp exp to experience whatever you want to call it Let's see what this guy has to say Tage the drunk <laughs> got some good muscles i think you got what it takes let me tell you something First, equip your arrows, then, okay, yeah, I already know. Shoot, he's just talking about how you can shoot arrows and stuff. Pick up Guitons. Mini robbers, of course. I think give off 3 XP. Yep, perfect. I'm just going to heal up by holding the A and B buttons together. This game really takes a lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Well, it Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I should say, is what basically inspired part of this game. Like, I'm pretty sure Sharon the Wander series uh, came before the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, of course. Ooh, it's an armband. A pyro armband. Let's just equip it. You won't know what it does until we reach town. With shield... That is a shield man for it, obviously. But the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series takes a lot of inspiration from this series, and especially Super Mystery Dungeon incorporates even more mechanics from Sheer and the Wanderer into the just overall gameplay. Like, uh, some of the monsters in this game basically more or less inspired a good number of Pokemon's actions in, in Super Mystery Dungeon. I can't really exactly explain too easily without um... Uh, being super specific, because I, it's hard for me to give specific examples, but without being able to show you right off the bat, but, oh, beat that little mini robber, pick up the guns, and get a drink of water. Can we get a weapon? Punch. Alright, Earth Blast Scroll, might as well read this. My game is starting to lag, of course. Herb of life. Oh, here's a foreign vagabond. Well, well, we made you again. You know, I believe that the golden condor can make wishes come true. I'm going to be the first to make it to the plains of the sun. You won't beat me. We'll see about that. But, knowing how this game is, I wouldn't be surprised if... Ooh. Sometimes items are dropped by... Uh, monsters. I'll come back to that state, that mechanic, a little bit later. But, uh, let's just go up, get this last item. Hopefully, it'll be like a weapon of some sort, like a cudgel or a pole arm. Hopefully, something metal. It's just an herb. Herb of sight. We'll hang on to that. Venture down yonder. I'm not using the speed up button at all in this series, for the most part, because that is it'd be incredibly dangerous. Not to mention tempting. Let's see here. Punch you, punch you. Except it missed. Come on, hit the darn mammal. And then smack. 
this game. Because there's not actual attacks like in the Pokemon Mr. Engine series, it's just a regular attack and so on and so forth. Punch. Punch. Okay, you need to stop, buddy. Just do that. Punch you. Let's see, I think now would be a good enough time to... Once we find some stairs, realize, go over a mechanic that is not in... It, it's not easily explained. You. I blinded you? I see, I'm sorry. That sounds like my sister. We are twins, but my sister has a nasty personality. She has hurt a lot of people by throwing stuff in their eyes. Please accept this as a token to make up for it. And we've been blinded. You know what? This is fine. This is why we hung on to our herb of sight. That is exactly why we hung on to it. At least we get these two arrows as a... But... Do remember that woman for later. She... Will be something or another. Let's see. Pick up these guidance. What's this shield hold? A bronze ward. That's better. That's better than a wood shield in every way. Okay, let's see these options. Go, back, and info. Let's go to the back. And would you look at that? We're back at the previous floor. This is a mechanic I would say is fairly exclusive to the Sheer and the Wanderer Mystery Dungeon games because Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, of course, has no mechanic like it. However, there is one drawback. Uh, you won't find pickup items on. You won't find items on the dungeon floor if you do decide to go back. However, you will. You can get items, however, by defeating monsters and having them occasionally drop an item. And that's that's it. This is great for grinding because you can actually go uh, all the way back. to the beginning of Canyon Hamlet, the starting town. And let's we'll just show that off. We'll just go over. And if we can find the stairs. Oh great. Well at least we only dropped the big rice ball. Oh great. Let's see, let's just go diagonal. Oh almost almost pressed the speed up button. I'm not doing that with this series. This game's hard and it requires concentration and precision. Back. If you return to Canyon Hamlet, you'll be returned to level 1 and your party will be disabandoned. More about parties later, I guess. So basically, you go back to level 1. Almost as if you were defeated. However, there is a big difference. You keep the money and you still have your items. This is a great way for you to grind up, just go in, that's not the warehouse. You can go in to a dungeon, go maybe the first few floors you're comfortable with, and collect all the item, collect items that you feel would be helpful. Uh, let's put this wood shield here, and of course you can s store them. What's this armband of calm do? Uh, avoids conf wears this to avoid confusion. Okay, it's that, may, that works because then yeah. But uh, I'm going to just do some uh, grinding, I guess, and we'll try to make it back to the old. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This guy up here is important. He is a fairly important NPC, not just... You've hurt yourself somewhere, haven't you? My name is Kaichi the Masseur. Kaichi the Masseur. I'm not a cheap Masseur. For t mere 200 guidance, I can try and make you feel better. How about it? Shoot, let's go for it. Get a massage. Alrighty then. Can you please turn your back this way? You may... You've noticed I'm blind, right? <laughs> Oh dear, you've really stiff. But don't worry. 
I'm even better th than a pressure point jar. And they say there are things in this world that even the blind can see. Here it is. Behold the power of my massage. There! Oops. And hit the wrong pressure point. Our hit points went down by 10, our strength went down by 1, and we're hungrier. I'm sorry I've made the mistake, so I can fix it with 200 guns. Shoot, why not? We got the money. Oops. And he killed us. I'm sorry I've made that mistake. You know what? You know what? No. We're only on the first floor. We didn't really mo lose much. But I'm not calling this an episode. You know what? Once we get done with saving this travel journal, we are going to... I'll, I'll see you at probably the fourth floor. So, see you all in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I picked up a armored ward. This is a, one of the best defensive items. It has a strength of 9 defense, so it's really a darn good item. Okay, snaky. Punch you, because look how much this does. One damage. There is one drawback to the sewing, and it's that if you equipped it, your belly will go down much faster. Like, so it's important to have rice balls available if you're going to be equipping this. Now, there is an con on the other side there, conversely, there is another item called the height, ooh, a golden blade. While this blade is something, it is not that great as far as a weapon goes, but you can sell it for a lot of money. So, bear that in mind. We'll definitely try to make it to the next, next town and get one. Ooh, a dragon herb. I might as well just eat this dragon herb take you out, level up to level 5, pick up this uh, another herbicide, and we might as well just explore a little, let's see, uh, what's down here, any items? Nope, just a chintilla, which will punch to death, punch a lot, okay, that's probably all of this floor. So we'll just run over to here, and go. And we've made it back to the Bamboo Village. Ah, well, let's see what all's different in this shindig neck of the woods, shall we? Let's see what Pekaji has to say. Hey, it's my brother! There's something I want to talk to you about. Wait for me at the bar, you'll doyer. The doyer. I'll be there soon. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's put this down. Uh, we got a staff of postpone. That's interesting. Let's talk to the old shopkeep. And he'll give us 2300 gains for that golden blade. That is something. This another mulberry staff. No, let's get it. Bronze Ward, uh, Earth Blessed Scroll. Let's get that. Restorative Herb. Medicinal Herb. Uh, I think we're good. Shopping is 2700 some. Good. Let's read this Earth Blessed Scroll. Power up this here. Metal Shield. Well, we might as well go exploring around here. See if there's anything, any events you know, that are going to happen around here right now. Doesn't really look like it. How far does this section go? I guess to there. Alright, run, run. I like how Copa is right at her side the whole time. Sometimes going in front, sometimes in back. Oh, wait, wait. What we have here? You! You're the one who blinded me! You got some nerve pulling a fast one on me. No, someone help me. 
Might as well help. Are you with her? Then we'll do the same to you. Alright, buddy. You need to calm down. What happens if I... S it's a doppelganger staff. Which means that then, then me, they're transformed into a decoy. Alright, buddy. You need to calm down. Let's turn you into a doppelganger so you basically do nothing. Alright, you okay? You helped me, even though I tricked you twice. Thank you. I will give up my evil ways, I promise. My name is Oryu. Around here, I'm known as Oryu the Blinder. Um, can I r travel with you? Yes, this is the first special thank you kiss, and she blinds us. We've been blinded, and yet Oryu the Blinder has joined you as a party member. Basically, they'll attack monsters. It's just why we have three herbs of sight. But, uh... Yeah, very nice. Might as well go to the bar, see what... Oh, uh, uh, You know what? Maybe we'll save that for next time. So, thank you all so much for watching. T next time, we're going to listen to Pekka-G's problems at the old bar and have a grand old time. But until then, see you all next Monday. And I hope you all had a Merry Christmas as well. See ya.